because I edit my own videos, I know how you can take video and make it sound way worse or way better than you want it to, or than it actually is. When people see these videos online, of just like, oh, Jonathan Majors, or like, oh, this conflict in the Middle East and whatever. I'm just like, you guys have no idea the power an editor has before they share you, the video with you. You guys have no clue. Unless you're in it, you have no clue. Yeah, you can actually make a, a clip sound the opposite of what the, the original, the person recorded actually said. You can do that without actually adding any additional footage. I feel like people should have a responsibility for what they believe and what they expose themselves to. On the other hand, they are no match for professionals. <laughs> like you are skilled at lying and deceiving people in mass, you know? So it's just like, Dang. And then the internet has connected us all. Like the, the rapper we brought onto the podcast made a really good point about this. He's like, look, we are too exposed to people in their ideas. You can have one person who says apples are great, apples are healthy. And then another person says, you can't eat red apples. They're, they're bad for you. And you don't know what to believe because how could you know? They all, they both sound legitimate. They all sound like they are saying, speaking with conviction. What do you do? You know? And so it's like the internet is supposed to offer us access to information and truth. In reality, it just gave us, it just exposed us to more lies. You can search whatever you want on Google and there's a story on it. Yeah. Here's a funny thing. Sometimes it's hard to find the opposite side if it's against uh, Google's politics. Like sometimes it's hard to find information, try to find information about like uh, controversial things that they don't like and they're hard to find. You know what's really hard to find? Primary sources. I can't believe it, but whenever there's an article talking about some legislation that passed, do you know how hard it is to find the actual legislation among all the articles in the press who reported on it? And then the press doesn't even link it in their own article. So now you get just like, I want to find where this legislation is. I want to read the bill, the text itself, but you got to go through possibly to the second page of Google to find the page. It's crazy. They purposely made it hard. You can go to congress.gov and search keywords. Yeah, I know. But it's a shame that like when there's a news article that they don't even link to the primary source, which always pisses me off. I'm just like, cite your work. Is it too much to ask ethics in journalism to actually cite your work or at least give people access? That's how you know they're lying to you guys because they don't link to the primary source. And then when you read the stuff, you're like, wait, that's not what this says at all.